All right, uh, we want to look at the second topic for, to, for this morning. Uh, we want to look at promoting Ohanes Ndibo, Lagos State, and we have Nam Dimuigwe, uh, President of Ohanes Ndibo, Lagos State, uh, the President of Ohanes Ndibo, Lagos State, past President, League of Anambra Professionals. Deputy President. Okay, past Deputy President, League of Anambra Professionals, President and Co founder, Industrial and Trade Development. Association. There are other uh, designations here, but mm. we'll take this to uh, B3 for now. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll bring you the visual of their solidarity visit to Governor William Biana now. When we come back, we'll look at some of the issues about Ohanes and Debo, uh, Lagos State Branch, and uh, other trending issues in the polity. Stay with us. The Igbo group, led by its president, Sir Nnam Denwigwe, said that their decision was based on visible, completed, and ongoing projects in Anambra by the president's administration. Sir Nguigwe said that their visit to the governor was to show solidarity and not to join issues with anybody, pointing out that the completed Zix Mausoleum, which is a national monument, the ongoing second bridge across the Niger, road projects and other infrastructural development projects lay credence to the fact that the Buhari-led leadership has not forgotten the region. He continued by appreciating Governor Biano's negotiating power and Think Home philosophy, among other notable initiatives, urging him to continue and avoid distractions. It takes a great politician to understand that what makes politics work is negotiating power. If not because of your negotiating power, Africa is just in one state. And yet that very single state, I'm not trying to make it look big, that very single state can be seen or attest to be the very best. Receiving the group, Governor Biano stressed that Ohaneze is one united group and that he is desirous that it continues to be so, adding that he is in good terms with its President General, but that the group's decision to fix a meeting on a day the President came to Anambra State to commission a mausoleum in honor of the late Dr. Namde Azikiwe, who is a world hero of Igbo extraction, is unacceptable. While reaffirming his support for the ABGA presidential candidate and all candidates on ABGA platform, Governor Biano called on Ohaneze to remain a socio-cultural group, non-partisan, pushing the Igbo agenda and reiterated that he is also in support of restructuring, expressing hope that the nation will set aside November 16th as a national day for Zeke's memorial. Governor Biano further hinted that an additional Igbo state is in the offing under Buhari's regime and expressed optimism that ABGA will win more states in the coming general elections in the country. Let Ohaneze be, that's where I stand, a socio-cultural body. Uniting people, uh, pushing the book cause, that was the platform under which I held the restructuring. Because I, I also believe in that. And I also made some points to this administration where they should change differently. I'm aware that somehow this president would like to create the sixth uh, state oh. in Southeast. I'm aware somehow. The Commissioner for Information and Public Enlightenment, Mr. Sidon Adenoba, said Governor Biano has always been a strong supporter and champion of laudable Igbo initiatives, programs, and causes, including the recent Igbo Summit and its attendant Ekweme Declaration, Ozemezina Ceremony in honor of Igbo Fallen Heroes, among others. In May last year, Ohaneza was desperate to have a summit on political restructuring of Nigeria. No government wanted to post this. Each of them was afraid. Only one governor said he was prepared to swallow the bullet to articulate, espouse, and defend the way That governor who accepted is here in our midst. Also present. Yes, we are looking at promoting Ohanes and Debo, and we have Nam Dimuigwe, uh, President of Ohanes and Debo, Lagos State, joining us in the studio to look at some issues arising from their solidarity visit to Governor Obiano. Uh, maybe we'll start from there. Um, can you tell us 
what preempted your visit uh, to Governor Biano? Well, um, <clears throat> as an Igbo man, there is no Igbo man in Nigeria today, home and abroad, that will not be attracted by what is happening in Anambra State. The entire Ohaneze, at a point, decided to come to pay, let's call it a solidarity visit, from what we've heard about Anambra State, and to witness some of those things live, because it's better seen than talking about things. So we felt that we should come first of all to tell him Dalo, Dalo, the way Igbo people greet somebody who does a very good thing. Mm. And we also believe that when a good thing is done, appreciated by the people whom you're doing it for, the person can only do more if people will come and say thank you. But if we all sit down there without showing interest is what, in what is happening in our Igbo land, Mm. Anambra State in particular, because Anambra State has been, have been in the news. Ben Bruce, in his common sense article or episode, at a point picked Anambra State, a state without oil, without anything you can say specifically that generates so much money, apart from the human capital and the investment made by the government, turns around to be the best ever. The best that can be used to give an example of what a state will look like. I think we, we, we need to come. And as a leader that gives direction to Ndibo in Lagos, it is only good that I bring them here so that we will see with our eyes all these things that have been in the news. And it will make us to go back there again to tell Ndibani, Ndibo that we've been here and we saw all those things and it's all real. And um, people will now begin to look back home because these are Kuluayuno philosophy that he started also. Mm. Have not been taken serious by our people living outside Ibo land. And I think our coming here now will generate a lot of interest in this Kuluayuno philosophy so that we will begin to think of how to shift most of our ideas and businesses. And businesses and investment back here. Because we also understand that take Lagos by the side, maybe Port Accord because of oil, whatever. And Ambra State is another place where return on investment is as high as ever. Therefore, All right. that's uh, why we are here. We, we, let let me here. ask a follow up to my initial question. So, your visit to the governor does not have anything to do with the recent agreement between the state government and Ohanes and Debo on the endorsement of. Uh, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Let me tell you true. Mm -hmm. Every Igbo man is touched by what happened in Enugu. Every Igbo man, mm -hmm. living or dead. But let me talk about those living. That's not actually why we came. Okay. Because the governor, when we went, came to see him, he said, here, Ohaneze, I hope you people did not come to begin to tell me about what Ohaneze, why we should, why we should say something again. Mm -hmm. He told us that he's very friendly with Neamodo. He said that till tomorrow, he believes that the Ohanais Ndibo is the apex umbrella body that, you know, holds Ndibo together. And that he trusts in whatever decision they make. But we are the people that we said a little bit, but it will not be fair for certain things to be said too openly, too loudly, because we are not the only tribe in Nigeria. Mm. There are certain okay. things when we say it, it okay. will generate a lot of controversy among the people. So we didn't come here for anything politics or okay. whatever at all. Okay, some people we are asking or mm. we are kind of uh, commenting that um, Ohane's uh, general body took a quick decision and I want to find out from you where you consulted because you are from Ohane's uh, Lagos. Lagos branch and there are so many other branches even in diaspora. Was there any kind of formal consultation before that decision was taken? I would say no. Mm. Typically, no. Honestly, no. We asked questions when that very pronouncement was made. And the people who we know in Ohaneze, I don't want to mention them here, but I would have loved to mention prominent Igbos that told us that they are not aware. That that decision was so quick. And whatever you're doing without consulting Igbos living in Lagos, take your town. 70% of those that makes your town run properly 
our intellectual capital is based in Lagos. And if you're doing anything without involving them, I wonder how you will be able to practicalize those things. We have so much influence in Lagos. In my village, no, for today, if I speak there, people will listen. I have been consulted by virtually all the political parties, but I've told them we chose to remain quiet. The reason why I want to remain quiet is that I don't want to dabble into politics, but I know I have interest, but that interest is within me. So anybody that wants to make a pronouncement in Enugu that concerns Ibo without talking to people in Lagos, not just Ohaneze, everybody, all the groups, you must have to agree. We must want to say we know. And if he has spoken to us, if there was any consultation, we will give an advice. And I will tell you people my advice openly here. There's nothing to hide. So in other words, that was uh, one of the reasons why you visited to show some advice yes. to the government. Yes. When we had so much coming on in the press, mm. and we say this man, that all these things have been said about him. Recently, that uh, Ben Bruce uh, common sense episode that he did some years ago, recapped itself again. People started circulating it. And Ambra State is state without nothing, and yet they are classed as the first. Where poverty rate is about the lowest, mm. if not in the whole West Africa. Why should people be telling us things that we don't understand? We felt that we should come and tell him, please, keep your eyes on the ball. All right, pursue um, your keep your eyes on the ball. You made some specific uh, statements that we want to take you on from now. Okay. Uh, you say that a very good number of Anambra people are based in Lagos. Yep. And um, by being the uh, president of Ohanes Ndibo in Lagos State, that mm -hmm. means you are heading one of the most powerful groups of Anambra. Mm -hmm. and the Anambra. Mm -hmm. So tell us, how are you... Uh, engaging them in this alone of philosophy that has, has been promoted severally by the state government. Mm. If you look at when you were reading about what I've been, mm. I was the deputy president of Liga of Anambra Professionals. That was when the governor came to tell us about his philosophy on, on this thing. Mm. And at the League of Anambra State, we've taken it up. We've gone around to tell every one of us that come back home and invest even the little thing these dividend warrants that we receive in lagos these are businesses that we are not there but our funds our money is there why don't you use the address of your town post office box where they will be sending you dividend or give them the bank account of um, a bank very close to your village that they will be sending it there and that will help to generate funds because the tax you pay there, I believe that Anambra State takes a portion of that very uh, tax deducted. Mm. Then we've encouraged most of our people who are now building hotels in the villages. In my town, there is almost a five-star hotel in my town. Mm. It wouldn't have been possible if we do not tell people such things. A lot of us from Lagos are bringing industries home. The only thing that is keeping them oh, this and that is this issue of energy but i came back here during obianos campaign at Newe, where he said he's doing something with the discourse that we can be sure of 16 hour steady power supply that alone made us to go back to tell our people now the place is opening up i don't know how he's doing it okay. and i'm told that it's working also I I know you're from Anambra, from what you have said. Yes, I am from Anambra. Okay, mm. and um, we are talking about um, uh, promoting Ohane Zendibu yes. in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Are you heading Ohane Zendibu Anambra branch or the whole of the... No, South no, East? no. Just the Igbos in Lagos. So, Ohane Zendibu. Any Igbo man that exists in Lagos or organizations are under the umbrella of that Ohaneze mm. in Lagos State. Ohaneze in Anambra, we don't have anything to do with it. But like I told you, anything an Igbo man is doing in Lagos influences anything you see here. Go, I can quote it anywhere. No town here will be able to survive if the people in Lagos there are not showing interest in what is happening in that very okay. so i know i know i'm coming somewhere now that mm -hmm. it's that way i would like to find out though the governor has said that uh, is a social political organization yes. mm -hmm. that you're supposed to 
stay away from politics. But I know that uh, every, every man is a political animal. animal. Mm -hmm. And not just that, whether we believe, to, believe it or not, we'll have these political leanings mm -hmm. and inclinations just to interest. different political mm -hmm. parties. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to find out from you mm -hmm. how you have been able to organize the Ndibu during this election. For those of them that are registered at home or registered anywhere, how have you been able to organize yourself you. to make sure we have you a know, Let election? me tell you, there is one thing you should know about. That's why I do not agree with anybody who knows he has so much influence to come and tell the people where to put their vote. I think it's illegal because it's like forcing them against their will. Therefore, the role I can only play is to tell our people how to know a good candidate. How to get to see if this candidate can do all the things they are telling us. What he has done for us in the past and what he has not or what he was not able or has not done. All right. Therefore, let, let, I, I cannot say now that um, I will but, tell anybody to vote actually, this party I, I or not. Actually, I think what she's trying to say is about mobilizing people to become part oh, of yes. the election. Oh, yes. L let me tell you, we, in Lagos, we've been holding meetings. I return back home virtually every week. Mm. But in that very meeting, all political parties are allowed to come. In Ohaneze today, even people that came to visit Obiano, there was an APC man that drove with his car. He became afraid driving him with his vehicle. Branded and when, vehicle. Branded vehicle. And when we finished, he was, I said, oh boy, you're here. You didn't come on time. He now, I said, where is your He said, he packed it outside. I said, please go and drive it inside. Mm. And okay. if the governor tells you to go, we will tell him that it cannot be so. No, you might know, be APC. The governor <laughs> will not do that. So, the so, so he, was, he was with us that place. He yes. was with us. Like, I can mention his name. Somebody's with us. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Barry, just from the line. Okay, Barrister uh, Bisnapi. I'm reaching you from all kinds of things. Mm. Make them the present scenario for an Asian people in the country. Thank you. Yes, uh, um, uh, uh, based on what you just said now that you are not um, consulted before the endorsement mm -hmm. of uh, Article, mm -hmm. I, I really want to say that uh, it is wrong to consult it. It is wrong because I know that that uh, endorsement was approved by him, which ordinarily you ought to member of that uh, MOP. I don't know if you are the member, but I believe so. Then, uh, uh, on the issue of endorsement, uh, uh, frankly speaking, I don't see anything wrong in endorsing a candidate, or anything to endorsing a candidate. Because even the Northern elders, they do the same. The Niger Delta people, they do the same. Should our own be different? Even if we have a, a, a different political the interest. Your energy as a body ought to endorse somebody. They will be in another passage. You have, you have traditional rulers who will come out and say, We are supporting uh, Obiano. That does not mean that all their subjects will be support Obiano. You have a political interest here and there. You have a PG coming to Obiano or something like that. All right, thank you. Barista. Still, they have their political, different political differences. Okay, Barista. All right. I, I don't think. Thank Sorry, Sorry. Oh, because of time. Let, let, let me just let me just one point. In thirty seconds. Briefly, In thirty seconds, please. That consultation issue, mm. I don't think is there because I spoke to people. Mm. We have people in government who represent Sindibo, mm. and within that time, the president of the Federal Republic is here. Mm. And when we spoke to them, they said that it was not discussed that they will endorse. By the time they got to that very place that they finished, with which people did you do all this? All right, thank so you very much. The consultation is not there. Thank please. you very much, okay. Mr. Uh, Chief Nam Dinwiwe, uh, President of Ohaneze Ndibo Lagos State, the President of Ohaneze Ndibo Lagos State, past Deputy President, League of Anambra Professionals, President and Co founder, Industrial and Trade uh, Development Association, and many others for joining us on this discussion segment. Thank you for joining us. It's still good morning, Nanambra, and uh, this is where we round off our discussion segments on the show.
Yeah, we we'll have to go to make room for the news at nine, and then the sports that will follow. My name is C. Jama Uche. It's been a very wonderful interactive session this morning with you, and I'd like to thank you very much for finding time to join us. We'll be here tomorrow, so do join us again. And I am David Obopasile. Join us for the news on the hour.